right, today I want to talk a little bit about alternate picking, and I want to give you a good 16th note sequence that you can play all over the neck, and I think it's very melodic, and it's great for, your, uh, for both hands. Uh, let me start it by showing it to you here in the key of E minor. It sounds like this. It only uses two strings, the E string and the B string, and the first part's very easy because it's uh, two notes per string. And your first finger gets to stay on the same fret, so that's nice. Uh, we're using B, A, and G, E. We're starting with a downstroke, and alternate picking means we're going to go down, up, down, up. Okay, the next two notes are the tricky notes. They are F sharp and A. They're tricky because they're not on the same string. You've got to do two pretty quick notes on two separate strings. That's the biggest challenge of any picking lick, is when you've got to shift between one string and another. So that's, that's the trickiest part. Not that bad, though. You can do that. So here it is with that attached. First part, your tricky part, and then two notes, and these are easy because they're on the same string. It ends with G, E. All together, Now, let's harmonize this inside the E natural minor scale. All that means is we're always keeping notes from the E minor scale, and, uh, but I'm going to raise it to different uh, steps. So this is the one we started on, starting on the fifth. Now I'm going to do one, that starts one note higher on the sixth. We're going to have to change our fingering slightly to fit inside the key. So start on the seventh on the octave, on the ninth, on the third. That's kind of a crazy shape for the left hand. This is really a good exercise for your left hand. Watch, check this out. It uses all your fingers. It's a really nice kind of C Lydian sound as well. So that's a nice melodic one. And we'll keep going starting with on the fourth. And then we're back an octave higher than when we started. Can I tell you about that one? If you want to, because it has a lot of tune up per string descending licks, you don't necessarily have to pick that. You can do it legato with two downstrokes and two pull ups. And then you'd have to pick the next two notes because they're on two separate strings, and you could do one more pull off here. So you could do a lot less picking and get a smoother sound like this. And that's not cheating. Uh, legato sounds good, too. It's, it's a very valid sound. Um, I personally do not pick everything. A lot of people uh, you know, think I do. Somehow I've managed to, uh, <laughs> to, to perpetuate this myth, but uh, I, I don't. I do a lot of combinations of picking and pull-offs. I think it sounds great. And uh, try it out, and hopefully it will sound wonderful for you as well.